What up, freaks? This is Steve Says, episode number one, 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 one hundred and eleven. Holy crap. This week, I'm going to share a deep, dark secret that you might not even know about productivity. Hold on. We have some technical difficulties here. I just got to plug this. There we go. Some deep, dark secrets that you might not even know on here on Steve Says, episode number 111, a, a secret to productivity that is going to help you. And it's something that I guarantee you are not doing in your, your everyday productivity life schedule. I, there's a, probably a good damn chance you're not doing it. You're not putting this on the calendar. I'm pretty damn sure if I parachute into your life right now, look at your calendar, open it up. I will not see this on your calendar. And it should be. This is one of the secret freak code steps to success and it's going to not be something you're, you're used to hearing it's going to be something totally different off the fucking wall but that's how we do stuff on do stuff on steve says because on steve says this is this is not always what you want to hear but this is what you freaking need to hear some people will hate and most can relate and we are bringing the fucking fire every second of every second steve says is a live show on how to have a no excuses badass mindset guiding you to adapt, overcome, and destroy the freaking obstacles that are preventing your success in your health, your family, your finances, so you can stop being a little bitch, get your shit together, and start living life on your own fucking terms. We are focusing on the mind, the body, the business. Steve says is mostly on the mind, the personal development, and it's about how to have a role model mindset, how to operate, to dominate with discipline, energy, confidence, be an action taker, a bold move maker, a risk taker, and your freak self. This is what it's all about. So let, let's get into it. What are we going to talk about today? And, and, and it's going to be a really quick, short, and dirty version of Steve Says because there's not much that needs to go into this. But I'll tell you what, this thing that we're going to talk about, this productivity hack, this productivity deep, dark, dirty, freaking secret will change your fucking life. It will change your productivity. It'll help you have more free time. It'll help you have more fun, more fulfillment, more freedom, make more money. And when I tell you what it is, you're gonna be like, you're fucking nuts. And you know what? If you're one of those people, then you probably need to listen to even more of these episodes of Steve Says because you need to let this stuff drill into your brain. Now, before I get into what we're talking about here, what this deep, dark, freak mode secret, freak code secret is... I have to warm it up with saying, just like anything else, you need to earn this. You need to earn this with things that come before it. Like if there were 20 steps, this would be step 16. You got to do one through 15 to earn the right to do this on number 16, but it's fucking needed. You need to do all 20 of these productivity steps. So we're going to we're just put it like that. You need to earn the right to do it. Just like a, a day off of fitness training or a cheat meal or food. You have to earn that shit. You don't schedule a cheat meal. You earn it. You decide. You work it into your plan. It's not putting a fucking cheat mode or a cheat food or meal on your calendar. You just earn certain rewards and food. This is the same productivity hack. You need to earn this the same way you need to earn a piece of motherfucking pizza that you're going to shove in your pie hole when you're on a diet. The same way that you need to earn a day off of recovery or active recovery when you're busting your ass for weeks straight without taking a day off for 21, 22 days in a row. You earn that recovery. You earn that day off. You earn that fucking rest. The same thing with this productivity hack that we're going to talk about. And when I tell you what it is, you're going to say, wow, Steve, you're fucking stupid. And you know what? I hear it all the time. Like I said, some people will hate, but most can relate. If you're one of the haters, then Fuck off. Just go that go that way. Go somewhere else. That's fine. You're going to say I'm stupid. Literally. You're going to say it. And you know what? I am. Because that's exactly what this productivity hack is. And it's something, again, you need to fucking earn. But you need to put it on your calendar. And I showed you my calendar. If I pulled up my calendar right now, you'd see this on my calendar every day for a minimum of 30 to 60 minutes. A minimum. Seven days a week. Sometimes even more. Every day. So when you tell me you don't have time for important things like working out or reading or meditating or journaling or shit like that, but yet I have time for what we're about to go over, you're going to need to start rethinking shit, reframing stuff and say, hmm, maybe I'm doing things wrong. Maybe I'm approaching things wrong. It's just like if I tell you you need to go meditate for 10 minutes a day and you're like, well, I don't have 
time to meditate for 10 minutes a day. Then you know what, motherfucker? You need to meditate for 60 minutes a day. Or if I tell you, you need to read for 20 minutes a day. I don't have time. I'm just so busy because you're just fucking so busy, right? Guess what? There's people more successful, a thousand times more successful, a thousand times more busy. They still have time to read. They still have time to work out. They still have time to do this secret that I'm going to share with you. So if you don't have time, if you think you don't have time to do some of these things, guess what? You need to do more of it so you can discover why you don't have time to do it, why you think you don't have time to do it. And that'll make you more efficient and proficient and productive in the other, other times of day. So again, you need to earn this with all other steps. You need to earn the right to do what we're about to go over. And here it is. And I'll tell you what, I am the fucking master of this. I have my PhD in what we're about to talk about. I am the motherfucking pro at this time block that goes on the calendar every freaking day. And it is called stupid time. Yes, you heard it right. Stupid time. And you need it on your calendar. And I'll tell you what, before we get into it, again, you have to earn it. As I said, you need the stupid time. And you know what? You will have more fun and fulfillment in life. Because you can't, if you, if you listen to last week, we talked about sense of humor on here, about not taking yourself too seriously. You need to take the load off. You need to take some fucking pressure off. You need to have some fun. And you know what that does? In turn, by shutting down, by vegging out, this will help you to make more money in the future. It will, because you're checking out. It's clearing your mind. It's just like when you go for a walk sometimes out in nature and just get in some fresh air, get in some sun, and your mind starts turning and thinking a little differently. It's similar to really meditation. It's similar to journaling, the similar type effect, believe it or not, stupid time. I'll be sitting there playing Grand Theft Auto, fucking blowing cars up and running from the cops, killing all kinds of motherfuckers, and something will pop in my head and I'll have my little notepad next to me. I'm like, holy shit, I'll write that down. That's a fucking $100,000 idea right there. I just came up during stupid time. And it's needed. Because you can't be on all the time. Trust me. If, if the energy that I have all day, and I woke up today at 4.30 and been going straight through, been a, a crazy, fun, busy day, all kinds of shit going on, having fun, working out, hanging out with the kids. If I still have time for stupid time and still making plenty of fucking money and making shit happen and starting new businesses and starting all kinds of of challenges and online programs and and all kinds of shit going on. I still have time for fucking stupid time. There's no way you can't either. And it also shows it's needed because you, I, even if, if I can't stay on all the time like that, like sit there, you have to veg out. You have to check out. You have to shut it down. You have to slow it down so you could speed it the fuck up. If that makes sense. You need to do it. You need your stupid time. What is stupid? Like the definition of stupid in the dictionary. Definition of stupid is lacking ordinary quickness and keenness of mind. Think about that. Now, do I want to be like that when I'm here in front of you talking to you? Do I want to be like that when I'm on a a one-on-one coaching call with someone who's paying me me thousands of dollars a month? Do I want to be like that when I'm in the project with, with men's literally lives and future at stake? Do I want to be Thinking stupid time then, lacking ordinary quickness and keenness of mind? No. I want to be so laser beam focused and the way that I could be so engaged and so fucking on almost all the time is because I'm not on all the time. Because I schedule time to shut it the fuck down. I schedule time that I'm going to lack ordinary quickness and keenness of mind. And during that time, even though you're lacking quickness and keenness of mind... Your mind is still going to, it's still in the subconscious is going in there. I'm blowing up a a, a fucking bridge and robbing a bank in the video game and some shit will spark in my head. Holy shit. How that has nothing to do with what I'm doing, but it's the mere fact of checking out, slowing down and lacking that ordinary quickness and keenness of mind, dulling things down because you're always on the move, always on the run, doing this, doing that, creating this, creating that fucking awesome. And you need to be like that the majority of the time. But you can't be like that all the time because it will fade, it will fizzle. Because if I need recovery time, if I need fucking to actually close my eyes once in a while in my cave to rest and recover and regenerate and reset the fucking cells in my body and also in the brain and mind and energy by with with stupid time, then I'm pretty sure you do also because I have a pretty fair amount of energy throughout the day. Like, I will go and go and go 
and you need time to shut it the fuck down so that you can blow it the fuck up. That's what you need to think about it. You need to slow it down to speed it up. You need that stupid time to regenerate and flow to get back into that explosion. To explode. To build. To grow. To fucking explode. Can't be doing that shit all the time. You just can't. It is impossible. You need the stupid time. What else does stupid mean? It it means it's mental dullness or tediously dull. Especially due to lack of meaning or sense. Fucking perfect. Perfect. Irrelevant. Short-sighted. Senseless. Unthinking. Pointless. These are places you need to go so you can get the exact opposite of it. It's the places, the times you need to shut down to slow down so you can speed up and fucking explode up on the scene. With vengeance and violence and viciousness and relentlessness. That's how you make it happen. By having recovery time. And that's not, we're not even talking about recovery time right now. Or a break. We're talking about literally stupid time. Like I am going to put on my calendar a blank space for just free time with nothing intentional on my calendar. And do whatever the fuck I want to do. Not work related. Just blank space. Maybe it's watching some dumbass series on Netflix like the, the Squid Wars or whatever the fuck it's called. Squid Gang. Or playing some video games. That's what we do. Our go-to is, is video games. It's some dumb series on Netflix, but you need that stuff. You need the freaking stupid time so you can have better smart time because you can't, you're, it's, it's just scientifically proven your brain will not function if you don't have that downtime. You need the downtime. If I need downtime, and I'm a wired motherfucker, if I need downtime, I guarantee you do, do, do need it also. And I guarantee you're not putting it on your calendar. I bet you don't have recovery time on your calendar right now. I bet you don't have stupid time on your calendar right now. You need to account for that stuff. If it's not on your calendar, the shit ain't going to happen. And if it doesn't happen, you will not perform the way you should. You won't be able to maintain your energy levels throughout the day. Stupid time might just be sitting there laying out in the sun and doing fucking nothing. Now my stupid time got me also my outdoor time. Because that's another thing I need in my calendar is my outdoor time. But stupid time is fucking needed. It's needed. Are you putting it on your calendar? What do you do for stupid time? I want to put C in the, in the comments or send me a private message. What do you do with your stupid time? What do you do to, to just block out, to mentally check out for a certain amount of time a day? And how often do you do it? Do you do it? Do you actually put it on your calendar? Literally, you will see on my calendar, stupid time. Stupid time. Sometimes it's specific. What is going to be getting done on that stupid time? But most of the time, it just says stupid time. Blank space on the fucking calendar. That's what it's for. It is tediously dull. It is lacking meaning and sense. Because fuck, all the time, everything you're doing is working towards your higher calling. Working towards something that has meaning and purpose and you're driven and your mission and your vision and your values, your goals and all this shit that you fucking preach and talk about and hopefully strive after all the fucking time. It's impossible to always be in flow. It's impossible to always have that energy and be so sharp and on the ball. It's fucking impossible. If you think you're going to be and you try to be, you'll end up being fucking stupider doing it than my stupid time. Because the stupid time gets to check out. All right, reset. Regenerate that creativity. Regenerate that fucking energy. Regenerate that focus and that motivation and that motherfucking fire. So when it's time to come back, I'm going to attack like a motherfucker. I'm going to implement like a motherfucker. I earn that shit. Now, don't get me wrong. I told you, you need to earn this. This is like level 16 out of 20 of things you need to do throughout your day. But you need to do the other 16 also. But you got to earn that shit. But you need to put it out there. And it is irrelevant. It is short-sighted. It is senseless. It is unthinking. It is pointless. And that's the fucking point. The fact that it's pointless is the point. You need some pointless shit on your calendar. And and believe it or not, this has been like a game changer for some high-end, I'm talking high-end, multi-million dollar entrepreneurs that I coach in one-on-one is like, breaking apart their calendar, looking at it. Of course, we get some other things about the family time and their go-out time and all this other stuff, kids and all this other. But then I'm like, where's your stupid time? What are you talking about? Like, motherfucker, I didn't hire you for thousands of dollars a month, tens of thousands of dollars a year to tell me about stupid time. I'm like, I bet you never thought that was going to happen. Watch, implement it in there. See how that changes your life. See how it changes your day. See how it changes your energy levels. See how it changes your focus when you come back off stupid time and you're like, shit, I'm fucking refreshed. 
I feel like I just got three, four hours of sleep by having some veg out time, some stupid time. I'm re-energized, re-energized, reinvigorated, refreshed, ready to attack the motherfucking hill, ready for the invasion, ready for whatever, putting me on my A game. Talked about it this morning. If you're always on your A game, you don't have to get on your A game. This helps you literally stay sharp, getting, be, get, getting, be, being tediously, intentionally dull in order to stay sharp and focused. Yeah, it sounds fucking weird and twisted, but if it is, you need to go a little deeper into it. You need to go and what you need to do is go journal on this and think about it. Be like, hmm, how, how, how can I approach that? How can I think of that from a different perspective? Because if you're thinking, oh, stupid time, this is fucking stupid. Steve is stupid. This is stupid. That's stupid. Guess what? You need yourself some motherfucking stupid time if that's the way you're thinking and that's the way you're operating. You need to go journal on that. And remember, if you don't have time for journaling for 10 minutes, you need to go journal for 60 minutes and journal about 60 minutes for why you don't have time to journal for 10 minutes. Yeah, that's the level of, of mind fuckery that we talk about on Steve Says here. Wrap your head around that shit. If you don't have 10 minutes to journal, you need to go journal for 60 minutes to journal about why you don't have time to journal for 10 minutes. And during that 60 minutes, you'd be like, holy shit, You'll probably be journaling about, wait a minute, I thought I didn't have 10 minutes. How did I have 60 minutes here? Holy shit, I've been bullshitting. Holy shit, I've been wasting my time. Holy shit, I've been just getting distracted by bullshit. I do have time for journaling. I do have time for training. I do have time to make some more motherfucking money. And I do have time for stupid time. And stupid time will help you do more of all that stuff. It will make you more productive in the time you're working. You do need recovery time also. Totally separate. We can talk about that. We're talking about that actually this week on Steve Does. That's on Thursdays on Thanksgiving. Talking about recovery. And the different forms of recovery and how you need to recover. We'll be talking about that because you know we have a different live show every day of the week on the mind, the body, the business. Steve says right here is on the mind, personal development. Steve does is about the body, physical development. Steve knows is about the business that's on income and impact making development. And then the family shows, of course, breaking the cycle with the kids and the Russian and the freak with the Russian, where we're talking about how to blend that all together, how to put it all together and still live with a role model mindset. Putting it all together. This is what it's about. You need your freaking stupid time. Now imagine you're doing stupid time with your kids, having fun, laughing, like not thinking, blocking out work. Work is not allowed. Like think of the power. It's fucking powerful when you start thinking of it that way. But if you're thinking, I don't have time for it, thinking it sounds stupid, you need fucking 60, you need, you need 120 minutes of stupid time, not 60 minutes. To get your ass a little more leveled down and realize that, listen, here's the thing about it. Here's the thing about it. I want this, I'm going to slow down here for a second so we could speed the fuck up. I'm going to slow down here for a second. All right, let's say you work eight hours a day, you sleep eight hours a day. Now, you probably don't sleep a full eight. And you probably work more than eight. But let's just say you sleep eight hours a day, you work eight hours a day. It leaves you eight more hours. Eight more hours left. That sounds to me a middle finger. Eight more hours left of the day. Now let's say you sleep your eight, which you're probably not. But you're working 10 or 12. 10 hours. That's 18 hours. You still have six more hours left with eight full hours of of sleep and 10, 10 full hours of work. That's 18. You still have six hours left to do everything else. And that's if you work 10 hours and if you slept eight hours, which you're probably not doing either of each. And if you're doing 10 hours of work, let me tell you, it's not productive work. It's just not. You're not working productively for 10 hours a day. I hate to fucking break it to you, but you're not. You're getting maybe three, four, five hours max of actual quality work in that time. Because you're not doing things like recovery. You're not doing things like stupid time. You're not doing things like working out as much as you can. If you did that stuff, you would get that same amount of work that you think you're done. You'd probably get more... The work that you think you're getting done in 10 hours, you'd probably get more than that done in four or five hours if you were doing the other things with that amount of time. Yeah, we are doing mind fuckery here. This is what Steve says about. This is, you need to reframe your whole existence, the way you think, the way you fucking operate to dominate. That's what you have to think about it. Now, let's just say, all right, let's go back to that scenario. You're working for 10 hours a day. If you are working for 10 hours a day, if you're working for 10 hours a day and sleeping eight hours a day, that leaves you your six hours left. Now, in those six hours, if you get home after working 10 hours a day and you have to crack open your laptop when your kids are there, you got to get some more work done, send some more emails, check some more stuff, send out some more messages on your little phone, face buried in there after 10 hours of work. I'll tell you this, most likely 
You suck at what you do. You suck at what you do. You can get the job done in 10 hours. 10, I'm worried to, and you're claiming that you're, you're going focused and all in for 10 hours of work. That's the way you need. That's what you really need to realize. And, and there's no way that you need to be doing other stuff. If you are good and you are the fucking best and as good as you say you are what you do. You shouldn't need to, by the time you get home, when you should be playing with your kids, you should be getting extra workout in, getting extra sleep in, doing some personal development stuff, get some reading in, get some recovery in, get some stupid time in, have some fun, do something else, some hobbies, whatever else you feel like you need to do. But you just have to get home and pop open your laptop after 10 hours of work. Your 10 hours weren't very productive, I'll tell you that, at all. And if you're doing that, it better, you better be making up into the multiple of millions, like in the tens of millions, if that's the life, if that's what you need, if that's a lifestyle you're living, it better be f- well fucking worth it. And even if it's, you think it's well worth it, it's not because they're those tens of millions at the detriment of your health or your fitness or your nutrition or your family or your own fucking sanity. Is that shit worth it? Fuck no. Because you failed to plan your stupid time. So yeah, if, and I just saw some comment in there, what is this? What is this? You probably need to schedule some stupid time if you're asking, what is this? You probably need to slow things down so you can speed things up. So you can go fucking overdrive and make shit happen. That's what you need to do. That's what the hell you need to do. So put your comments down below. Put your, send me a private message. What do you do with your stupid time? What do you do to, to block out and, and check out what do you do to get mind off of work? And not even just a hobby. We're talking, hobby is a separate, a separate thing. A hobby is an actual thing, a skill you actually enjoy. We're not even talking about that. We were talking about straight, just bl- checked out. Because a hobby, let's say you're going to jujitsu or something, you can't be checked out during jujitsu. Say you're doing archery, you can't be checked out during that. You end up killing the motherfucker, you end up getting hurt, or biking, or cycling, or, or chess, or something. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about nothing. Stupid time is blank space on the calendar. Now, again, you have to earn it because you don't want too much white space on the calendar. As as Grant Cardone says, white space on the calendar is the devil or something like that, he says. Some crazy shit. Anyway, put down there what, what you need, what you do with your stupid time, what you do to check out, what you do to block out the rest of the world and just not have to think and let me tell you, if you're not doing it, not putting on the calendar, put on the calendar and see how it makes everything else so much better. See how much it actually it, stupid time makes you make more money. I've been doing plenty of fucking stupid time and making millions of dollars doing it. So there you go. If you have any questions, comments, put them down below. Send me a private message. If you need any help with productivity, with efficiency, with setting up your calendar, with time blocking, this is the specialty. It, it doesn't get me higher level of being a personal development discipline coach as in what we do in our one-on-one private coaching for Operate to Dominate or what we do in the project for men here in Southern California, an in-person four-day program doesn't get any higher level of attention to detail and discipline than that. So if you want some more information on that, you want to jump on the phone and talk about it, send me a message. I got to get rolling. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.